I'm now going to show you some more symbol creation tips. So I'm going to start by trying to create a new symbol. And if I just zoom in a little bit there, um, <clears throat> if I want to add connection points to this, I'm just going to Alt T to bring on the trackers, bring this in a little bit. So if I uh, want to add connection points, I can use Control T or Add Text. I can put the text in and say this is uh, maybe 11. And the ch type of text, the attribute, I can change to connection. So under connection, double click. I now set the justification here. So advanced properties, set the justification. And I'm going to put that as being 11. And you can see where I'm holding this. As I place it in, the connection point is added. Now in this case, on the top one, I don't want it to be outside the box. I want it to be inside. So I can click on that, choose the right click, and now go to mirror and draw a line along the uh, point of mirroring. So I'm actually going to mirror that down. So that's a very quick and easy way of putting text, uh, connection point text on, um, and it adds the connection point itself as well. So I'm now going to draw a bit of graphics on there and just show you another useful feature. And if for some reason I go in there and draw another bit of graphics. So that's my symbol. I now want to save it. If I window around that and choose right click and choose block, I would expect to see a long list of different types of symbol, but I'm only seeing block macro group. And the reason for this is that something in here is intelligent. There's either a Y or another symbol. Now in this case, if I use Control D, it brings up the page debugger. What this allows me to do is look at what's on the, the page. I can hover over it, but I can actually see in the list that I've got one here, which is a wire segment. And I can see that that's highlighted as red. So this piece here is not a wire or a graphical line, sorry, it's a wire. So what I'm going to do on this one is just select that one there and then draw that in just as a graphical line. And now when I window around that, right click and choose block, I've got a big long list of things that I can choose to save this as. And I can now set this as being perhaps 11 and 12 or 13 and 14. And that's my symbol created. If I want to save that, as always, I go into a folder. I can right click and create a new folder, new symbol database, or I can just right click and create a new folder in there, or I can use an existing one and drag that from where I want to be holding, holding that symbol and drop it onto the menu. All done.